so guys i have the pina colada without the alcohol but i'm feeling like i do taste how how, how many shots how many shots i'm gonna drink how many shots but i'm gonna put a little because hey okay i'm scared let me just put it let me have short girls shorts glasses so this is a male so let me try 20 20 ml i think i've tried all in all how many call me call me and let's blend it this is why i see, I see that i'm shaking so i don't have a shaker so we're gonna go go back to blending guys recommend recipe that i should be doing for cocktail i'm actually gonna name this video what i'm gonna name it cocktail pina colada cocktail and this is vodka this is vodka yes i'm gonna name that video this so guys what drink should i take first what drink should i take first i'm excited i'm excited This is gonna be the damage. Shots. <laughs> Let's pick. Okay, this one is uh, without the. This is so good, guys. This is refreshing. You know how much I'll get this. At CJ's, you know how much I'll get this at any high-end establishment. Six hundred, and the alcohol, alcohol one, I think I'll get like fifty. That thing is good, and it makes me feel like I'm in Mombasa. You know, guys, I love. You can taste the any alcohol. Okay, 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 okay. This one is with the one with the alcohol. So this is two glasses. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Moment of truth. This is so good. This is so good, guys. I'm getting drunk today. <laughs> I'm getting drunk. I'm getting drunk. Drunk. Drunk in the morning, hey, yeah. Drunk. Guys, recommend me other drinks I should nini, make. Other cocktails I should make. And with which nini. Recipes. Recipes are for chini. Because I can't even taste that whole guy. This is eight. This is a cocktail, pina colada cocktail. Made it all myself. Yeah, don't. Hmm. It is so good, guys. <laughs> How many things? Maybe I should give you like just a life update while drinking. It has become a video. I'm actually gonna do separately the thingy i'm gonna do separately um the <laughs> my drunk already the pina colada with virgin do you say virgin like virgin mojito but then the next thing cocktail i should make is virgin mojito guys i'm your bad lady guys if i can hey this is this is gonna be a different video this is gonna be my life update today is like i've already today is eight so i've already spent like 15 plus eight 15 six, already spent 23 days living alone and this is actually the update of living alone diaries i'm just gonna be telling you a bit about my life god i have been spending spending left right center but on good things apart from that 
uh ordinary delivery thing i had to try that guys but after, apart from that i haven't been spending like stupidly every spent i've spent is to make this home a home so currently we're gonna be looking for the main thing and the main bulk that is gonna chop my money off is buying a bed and i'm really legit terrified of buying a bed from the local fundi they're the best if you find the best cherish them guys because i am scared i've had bad experiences with local fundi and actually that's why i'm going along with just going and see a ready-made bed and buy it and i'm willing to spend extra i know i can save like a buck but i'm not willing to be scared of the outcome because i'm really picky on some items that i want to choose especially like carpet and any big statements that when you walk in a room you see them so actually i'm just choosing to go with like uh, furniture palace i'm like window shopping from furniture palace from tag from which and which other place those are like basically the two that i'm really like so like keen on going window shopping i've been window shopping for the past two weeks to get the bed i've also gone to local fundis but i i know i'll save a buck but i'm scared i've had bad experiences with fundis with the delaying and all those stuff so i'm willing to actually pay extra to see something that i like and just buying it at there so wish me luck maybe before you see this video i will have already been already bought the bed or anything but just know i'm doing like a living alone series and they'll be on a playlist right here so be stay tuned subscribe turn on the post notification bell we are in the road to 30k subscribers and actually tomorrow we're supposed to go today but they close at 4 p.m i went to furniture palace <sighs> This is the bend adventure i know i'm rambling but it's actually my life right now rambling so i went to furniture palace and trm one and the bed i was looking for is called just watch that vlog and i'll and i've put that vlog saying uh saying something like uh my bed arrives yeah because yeah, we need to make these YouTube coins, guys. We need to pay rent. I'm doing adulting stuff. Adulting. I'm adulting. I'm adulting. <laughs> I need to say that. And I feel so good, guys. I, I don't know what type I am, but when I spend money, like I feel good. I feel like I'm an adult. I feel really nice. Uh, like me, if I was the daughter of Uhur, you guys, you will suffer. You will suffer. I'm so bad in sweat. Like, I like shopping. I'm addicted to shopping. Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah. So, shopping. <laughs> shopping wisely. <laughs> so, yeah. We went there and they told the bed that I'm interested in is in Furniture Palace on Mombasa Road, just right near DTB. Yeah, I would have actually love to show you guys, but. Uh, it's kind of I don't know like yeah I've seen that comment where someone said we should I should show them where I like to shop high-end things and um, hopefully we'll shop and hopefully I like that bed tomorrow we are going there because they close at 4 p.m. and today I was actually in town at 3 p.m. so it was late so that's why we are going tomorrow and we're going to look at the beds there i'll try and do snapchat videos for you guys so you can see how it is you can come shop with me so that's my current dilemma i'm sleeping actually sleeping that's my sleeping situation mattress is so far it's so good guys save your bags guys no no not like like invest in your sleep because that's where you spend most of your time seven hours at most so you need to spend wisely on beds okay you need to be asleep comfortably because you work so hard you deserve to reward yourself so i'm actually pray for me guys i need to get that bed and i'm so scared because i don't know what the difference between single queen single and queen 
I don't know where my bed lies at. My bed is 48 by 72 inches and in centimeters my bed is I don't know if that's qualified for a queen or is it a single. I, I don't know. I've been trying to search online. Please help me guys what that means. And I'm standing guys because I don't have chairs. <clears throat> but I'd like you guys to help me guys. Tell me if my bed is a uh, because my mattress size is a uh, 48 by 72 inches is a uh, 4 by 6 and in in dimensions in centimeters is 121.92 by 182.88 so it's my bed <coughs> is my bed a, a single or is it a queen I can I don't know how why because I was thinking of shopping online but yet again I don't know like um, all the furnishings and things okay also tack I want to talk to find beds but they they are bringing the new stock in they are bringing the new stock in April and we are in March so I, I I'm not willing to sacrifice one month because I like it's comfortable sleeping on the floor because my mattress is eight inches in length go and see something like that so but it's making me feel disorganized i just need a bed and actually need a sofa also so the thing that i'm gonna maybe sacrifice and buy is i don't know like i'm so scared of local fungi i have nothing but love for them but my experiences with them were so bad so living alone i love this freedom I love 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 this freedom that I have. I can do whatever I want responsibly. I feel like I'm responsible, but it's not new like paying bills because I've always like pay my part of bills. So I don't feel pain. Pain. I don't know if you can understand me. I don't feel like I'm not like a child, like everything of mine was being paid for. No, I feel really good. I feel like good things are coming to me like i'm becoming this person like i'm so creative i'm so open i'm so like i feel like i love my own space guys ever since like we are a family of eight and i've never had a room to myself i've always shared a room with my sisters even up to recently and now i feel like this it's a studio by the way it's more more bigger than a bed sitter so I believe this is like a studio because it has really nice it it fits a four by six can even fit a five by six bed with chairs also so I feel it's really big so I feel like this studio I'll be calling it studio up to because I, <laughs> because I just like the word studio better so I feel like this studio it's like my own master and suit you know so like I love my own space and I'm so grateful like sharing a space with my sisters but I feel so much nicer to have my own little like heaven like my own happy place like I will pump it like I have such great ideas for this place and I'm a person who believes in quality over quantity it's better like I save 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 you guys have been asking me how did I save to move out and that video I think like I have um, <sighs> I've never had issues saying about money and talking about money and talking about how much I earn because I believe it helps others to be to know but I've found out like it's really difficult people think you're boosting when you talk about money so I'll try and not talk I try and not talk about it some people have asked me how much rent I pay here where is the location and things like that those are really very private informations because I live here maybe when I move out I'll share all the details but currently I live here and I, through experiences through life experiences I've noticed people like asking you about how much money you pay for rent so that they can know how much you're worth so with that in in bad intentions so i i do believe like me you knowing how much rent i pay here will not be of any useful to you 
at the long run but i've done more videos of apartments and i've always disclosed the rent so you can like figure out and guess like like you can see that house playlist here i've always stated the the prices but for this specific place where i stay i believe i i i need privacy and yeah so due to that i can't disclose the location i can't show outside but guys this i was this, this apartment is luxury when i say luxury i'm not joking it's luxury <laughs> so yeah i feel so blessed and humbled and all this is due to god's graces plus my hard work my humbleness my my giving my giving whatever and okay, let me think i'm drunk guys please make this when you make it tag me inbox me on the dm that you've made it and let me know how you like it guys i think this is how i'm gonna be drinking my alcohol this is alcohol is from it's that 7.5 alcohol let me just put it away I cannot I cannot so yeah I'll not be talking about finances sadly so but due to unavoidable circumstances I don't want to trigger people because there's this one there I said how much I earn on YouTube and people were triggered like I lost people who thought who pretended that they are my friends and actually they are not because you get to determine who's your friend when you're in a crisis you know so that friend or that person who wants to be your friend will will show by action that he or she is actually your friend and through that i don't want to talk, be talking about finances and it hurts me that people are not like people cannot be happy for you when you say about like talking about salary incomes and red cards and all these things tend to be a very it tends us being a jealousy kind of thing towards like us black content creators i can say that because i don't know like it just i, I tried that before i got banned so i'm not gonna be talking about finances and that's why like it's a very a tricky situation to talk about and actually how am i feeling i'm feeling relieved you guys i'm an introvert so moving and having like time alone it has really helped my creativity a lot i love my sisters i'll always be visiting them and they'll always be visiting me and i'm so happy that i have sisters who are who are like my friends and like i'm just so happy having you guys all of you i'm happy about that and i'll always be forever thankful for you my k-type so i asked you guys on me maybe that i forgot to read ah yes and then another thing about carpets this uh me personally i don't like carpets i feel like if i have a carpet i'll need to have a vacuum vacuum cleaner but my pe dilemma is uh i'm on i'm on the ground floor and Nairobi tends to be really cold sometimes so I feel like when I have a carpet, it will make the home more cozy. But now I want to maybe get a carpet, maybe Turkish carpet, a carpet that is not ragged, that I can clean easily uh, before I get a vacuum cleaner. I have a washing machine also to buy. Oh my God. Let's not even go there. So let me know in the comment section, are you a carpet person or no carpet at all? Let me know. Let me know down below. And like for my size, of studio apartment you've seen that like should i go for a bigger like what size of a carpet should i go for and then people are, were recommending uh which phone is to go through but i've decided i'm gonna be going with furniture palace because they have the kind of bed that i want and uh, yeah we'll see uh yeah so keep on subscribing to my youtube channel comment down below what you are currently going like are you enjoying my living alone series we are currently at 26 dollars i 
I'm hoping like we'll cross 30,000 subscribers really really soon and the goal is to reach at least 50k before my birthday guys please 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 thank you so much for all who have subscribed subscribe here if you haven't and be part of the k tribe community that's my community online the people who support me and watch the living alone series here and i feel a, a little tipsy guys Ugh.